Hi family, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is an exciting video because I'm going to be touring the Airbnb for the very first time. First, I'm gonna give you a detailed tour of the newly renovated and decorated Airbnb. And then we're gonna go ahead and clean the entire home together right before our next guest. All right, family, first thing first, we're starting out with the living room here. As you all know, this was an old home that I purchased and completely renovated, and then I decorated it and set it up as an Airbnb. I'm coming up on my one year of um, Airbnb celebration. I cannot believe that I have had my, my Airbnb for a whole year, and it's been really great. It's been successful, and the house looks beautiful, as you can see here. Anyway, this is a look at the deck. I passed a lot of places, but I'll get back into that. But that's the deck. It's brand new. This is the kitchen. It's newly renovated and also decorated. This is the cute little dinette or dining room area. It's more like an eating kitchen, but the space is big enough for a dining, um, dining table. And then here we go back into the living room here. Um, and then we have our little entryway here. This is the garage in the front door. And then this is the primary bedroom. This is also called the blue room because all the acid pieces here are blue. I have a themed color for all the rooms, but I, I usually stick to neutrals. I actually just wanted to pop up some colors in my Airbnb so it can um, be differentiated from my own home. This is the primary bathroom. It's really cute, really simple, and nicely decorated. Um, I have been putting this video up for so long or off for so long, so I just wanted to do it. I have a cold, if you can't already tell from my voice. Anyway, that was the primary bedroom. Back into the living room here. Again, the living room is nice and open. It's really beautiful. We have our open kitchen there. And then um, I love, love, love this kitchen area. Oh my goodness, it's so, so pretty. The furnitures were all picked out by me. Um, it's just, ugh, it's just beautiful. I really, really love how this place turned out. That's the little entryway there. And then now we're in the twin room. The twin room is also the green room. And you'll see that both beds are identical to each other. The decoration, the lamp, the light, the nightstands, the towels, everything is identical. Then we're headed to the um, hall bath. The hall bath is also called the black and white room. I actually did this uh, theme in my own home here recently. Super cute. This is the yellow room. This is the third bedroom. Um, and as you can see, it has some yellow accents here. Nicely decorated, but very, very simple. And we're headed back to the living room. And I think that is it for the tour. I have been putting this up like off, like I said, for so long. And I actually filmed the video and wanted to post it. And I realized that I came down with a cold and I said, oh my God, I cannot do this. But I had to do it, y'all. Horse and all, I had to do the video for you guys. Anyway, now let's get to cleaning. Today, we're starting off the cleaning. I'm going to start off in the kitchen here. Um, the kitchen is not really um, dirty. I actually had my cleaners come do a deep clean of the kitchens or the kitchen and the bathrooms so that um, I can actually do the rest of the rooms with you guys because again, I've been putting this video off for so long and a lot of you have been asking to see it. Um, this sink is really, really cool or the, fac the faucet um the water is blue when it's cold and i'm sorry the light is blue when the water is cold and it's red when the water is hot that's how you can tell if it's hot water or not anyway i'm just wiping off the counters and um, making sure to organize everything and refill the pepper the salt the um, dishwasher uh the soap dish soap and the oil and vinegar i make sure i do all of that and then the coffee and sugar as well those are some of the things on the checklist for when we turn the property over for the next guest we also fill up the coffee um 
the coffee thing, the Keurig machine with water so that they'll already have it there when they come. Oh my God, I'm struggling through this video, my voice. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just refilling the Keurig machine with some water, making sure the refrigerator is empty. There's nothing there. We like to clean it out. It doesn't matter if the, the previous guest left some food in there. We usually clean out the whole thing so that it doesn't look like we have leftovers when the new guests come. Um, just, you know, this person, towels everywhere, making sure we have towels in the kitchen, towels in the bathrooms, um, you know, hand towels everywhere, paper towels everywhere. And then now we're making our way to the dining room. This is the dining room area. Like I said, you can put a bigger table here, but I actually put this round table here. If you all are OG, you know that I've had this table for the longest time. I actually DIY'd it because I wanted to have black accents in here. The table was actually white. The base of it was white and I made it black because I wanted to... Um, you know, bring some of the black from the living room here. I did a lot of DIYs with a lot of the, the things here. So the fireplace area behind me, I actually did myself as well. I painted the wall and I added the little um, shelf. I can't think of the name. The shelf and then we mounted the TV. Again, I wanted to have a focal point um, in the, the Airbnb that gives it that little pop of color, but a little modern um, taste. So anyway, just juicing up, just juicing up the uh, sofa and love seat. Again, I already had my cleaners come and do a lot of cleaning. Um, I just had them leave the little things so that I can do it with you guys to really give you guys a better um, view of the living room. I'm sorry, the Airbnb, because again, you all have been asking for a long time. So anyway, um, as you can see, I like pillows. Um, so a lot of pillows here. Um, this is the love seat. This seat is pretty big. You can fit two people in there or one person very comfortably. Um, I can fit my whole body into the seat if I want to take a nap or something. I heard that one thing with Airbnbs is um, the more people you can sleep, the better. My home is uh, designed for only six people, but sometimes they have more people and they can sleep them on the floors, in the couch, the love seat, just everywhere. We have, um, pull out stuff and stuff as well. Anyway, I love, love that Ascent chair there. Um, that was a, a, a Goodwill find, actually. It was one of their showcase pieces at a Goodwill that I went to. And I just thought it was so, so nice. And I ended up picking that up. And it, fit, it fits the space so, so well. Anyway, this is the entryway table. Um, I have a globe there, a few design pieces, a tray where they can put their keys and things like that. And then this is our window. I just have the one window treatment and they can pull it at night if they want some privacy. But as you can see, we have blinds there as well. This cleaning solution is a mixture of solutions and I just put it in this bottle. I can clean the glass with it, but I can also clean the tables with it. And it has a really, really nice smell and it just makes the place look clean, shine really nicely, and then it smells good too. <laughs> So cleaning the side tables here, these side tables, I have about three of them. Um, they are spread out everywhere. The top of it is marble and then the base is gold. Um, I always try to clean the bottom of this table because it does collect dirt sometimes. This is where I usually keep a lot of um, the guest information. Anyway, back to the primary bedroom. The primary bedroom was already made because this bed is kind of hard to make. It's pretty big and it's pretty detailed to make, but as you can see, it's just made like a regular bed. And again, this is the blue room because of the blue accents. Um, so this is a way for me to communicate with my guests and my cleaners. Um, it makes it easy to say, hey, the blue room, do we have this and that in the blue room? Do we have that in the third, in the, the green room and things like that? So I just came up with that to make things easy. 
anyway, as you can see there, I have a key to the basement. The basement is accessible to the guests, but they have to ask first because I do have a lot of supplies down there in one of the rooms. And I also have the washer and dryer machine down there, which is where I um, just went to get some clean linens to make the other beds. All right, so I have my clean linens. Let's go ahead and make the bed in the yellow room. Again, I um, the house is already clean, if I haven't said that already. It's already clean. A few little things just needed to be done. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, set up a lot of the rooms today. I wanted to put a new duvet or cleaner duvet and duvet cover on this um the bed in the yellow room. So the bed in the yellow room is a queen size bed. The room is pretty spacious and it fits a queen size bed really nicely. And as you can see, there's still room to move around. So I'm just changing out some things here and making sure I like to make the bed not only comfortable, but fashionable as well. Because when you go to an Airbnb, it's kind of like going to a hotel. You want, you want the pictures to match the actual feel of the place, if that makes sense. So I always like my guests to walk in and feel the same way they felt when they saw the pictures on the website versus, um, you know how when you see the pictures and then you get there, it doesn't match. That's my biggest fear or my biggest pet peeves. And thankfully, I have always gotten compliments from my guests stating that um, the place looks beautiful and nice and clean. So that is that's a flex that's a flex for me so um one thing i don't like about being an airbnb host especially a, a smaller airbnb host is the fact that most times if your cleaners are not available you have to come and do it yourself this kind of gives me a little bit of anxiety because um, I like to travel. I like to move around. And I also have a lot of other things I'm doing. I run my other businesses as well, including my social media. Um, so I'm always busy. So whenever my cleaners cannot come clean and I have a guest coming, I have to drop everything I'm doing, especially if I call all my cleaners and for some reason they're not able to, which this has happened a lot. It happens more frequently, I guess, in the, the summertime because everybody's busy. Um, I didn't really notice this last year when I first opened it up. I always had people available, but I realized that this happened a lot more over the summer. And so I had to drop everything um, or I usually have to drop everything I'm doing to come and clean the place myself. And I don't mind doing it because I love to clean. And I also know that when I do it myself, it is done to the T because I made the blueprint for um the place as far as the decor goes so I'm the only one who can really clean it and decorate it the way that I first did I first did it excuse my voice again versus when my cleaners come they do you know they do they do a great job don't get me wrong they do an amazing job but they do it with their own designs <laughs> and so um I just have to let it be and I just have to enjoy the ride. At least I don't have to do it. But when I do have to do it, I have to drop everything I'm doing to do it because it is physical work. So the reason it gives me a little bit of anxiety is because, again, I like to travel. I love to travel. And whenever I travel, I'm always thinking in the back of my mind or praying that one of my um, cleaners don't call off or all of them call off and then I can't get to I can't get someone to clean the home when I have another guest coming. So I always have that in my mind. So that is the only thing, one of the only thing I don't like about being a host. There's a lot of worry, too, about your guests. When you have a guest, you always have to keep your phone line open just in case they need something or they're asking for something or they're having difficulties with something. Um, you always have to keep that in mind as well. I have my friend and his wife who are really, really helpful as far as with responding to guests and just making things easier for me because they do have their own Airbnbs and they are basically as experts at this. And so we're all on the the app together. So whatever, whenever I get an email, they get the same email and sometimes they'll respond before I do. But again, being a guest, you are the primary, you're the owner. So it's it's your business. So you just have to keep those kind of things in mind. So it is passive, 
but sometimes it can be active income, but it's passive, but it's active. <laughs> anyway, I am back in the green room, which is also the twin room. I usually make the bed. Um, like I said, the, the beds in here are identical from the beds to the sheets, to the nightstands, to the lamb, the, the pictures on top of the, the, what's it called? The bed, the little throw blanket, everything is identical. I did it like that. Um, because it's a twin room and I want it to go with the identical twin type feel of it. So anyway, so just making the, um, right bed. And then I think I already made the left bed and you'll see that here in a minute. So uh, this is filming y'all, but I'm actually cleaning, cleaning. So you might see, a I don't know, maybe this video is going to be about 10 minutes or 20 minutes. I don't know. But you might see a 20 minute video. It actually took me two and a half hours to complete the cleaning. So I did skip some of the things. And before I forget, I didn't show you the cleaning of the bathrooms and um, the deep cleaning of the two bathrooms and something else. Because again, the cleaners already did that. And I was going to go in there and show you all a lot more footage, but I just didn't get to, I guess. So anyway, just making the bed here, clean pillowcases, clean sheets, clean blankets, clean everything, um, getting it ready for the next family. Um, what ends up happening sometimes is, let's say you get a family, they'll use up all the rooms and all the towels and all the beds and all the linens and everything, right? That's a big cleaning day. But sometimes you'll get a guest and it's just one person and maybe they only used the primary bedroom. All of the other rooms will stay made. But for me, what I like to do is I always like to change the sheets because you never know. You never know if they came in there and laid in the bed and left stains or whatever. So I always tell my cleaners to make sure that regardless of if the beds were used or if the towels were used, still change them out. Bring clean ones. Um... Yeah, I just, I'm just paranoid, I guess, but I just like to make sure that everything is clean. But as you can see here, again, everything is identical. I did that for a reason. Um, that's just my theme. This is the green room, but I also have like a watercolor, watercolor type theme going on here as well. Um, I didn't want to make it too blue or make it too pink. I wanted to make it, I guess, uni unisex just in case the family comes and they have boys or girls or boys and girls. So, yeah, there was a lot of thought thoughts put into the designing of this space, even the renovation. I put a lot of thought into it and I was so proud of how it turned out. Um, and the decoration, same thing. So the floors were already mopped and swept, but I'm going to do some light sweeping especially because I had to come back and do the cleaning. You'll see that I was able to, um, I was able to get a, li a little bit of dirt from the floor here. I'm so sorry, y'all. As I said, I'm sick. My voice is gone, but I just, I just got tired of putting up this video because it's been almost a year since I set up this Airbnb and I have been promising you guys that I would do a tour and I just haven't done it. One reason for that is I always have guests. I always, always have guests. And when I don't have guests, it's only a few days in between. And most times I'm traveling or I'm doing something else. And I just didn't like, I just didn't have the time to do it, but I've always had it in the back of my mind. So I said, okay, I'm going to do a quick little tour and we're going to do a clean with me. That way they can see the whole place. Anyway, just sweeping here. When my cleaners come, they have all their fancy tools and vacuums and, um, you know, floor machines and all of that. But when I do it, I, <laughs> I use my little broom to do it. Um, I only do it once in a while, but yeah, I use my broom and it works. It works very well. And you'll see that here in a minute. So yeah, I just make sure that I'm getting under the chairs, getting all the little visible places that could, um, gather dirt or dust. Um, so that when the guests walk in, the place is nice and clean. And I also I also like to put on candles when I clean because it makes the place smell so good and it gives me motivation to continue to clean because the more the place smells good, the more I feel like it's clean. So yeah, just sweeping, sweep, sweep, sweep in here, making sure to get all the corners, all the little dirt. Um, you guys, one of the things I love about 
this Airbnb is, is the fact that it's so nice and open and modern. This is a compliment I get from almost all of my guests. They walk in and it's a big open space. Um, if you saw the renovation series of this home, oh my goodness, what a big difference. That whole kitchen was closed off. There was a tiny little door um, at the back of that ascent chair. That's where the door was, and you couldn't see any further than that. You had to open the door and go into the kitchen. It also didn't have beautiful countertops like this. It had brown, old, old, old brown cabinets. It had the floors were horrible. Like, it was just really, really bad. So when you see the before and after pictures compared to what it is now, when I say night and day, again, for those of you who followed the series of the renovation, you saw how different this place was. Down to the, the wall colors. The walls were a completely different color. It was like mud or some kind of weird color. But again, a lot was done to this house. Oh yeah, and by the way, I did the appraisal on this home and I forgot to come back and tell you guys about the result of the appraisal. I might do a detailed video on that. But the appraisal came back and my house appraised for so much more. I bought the house for way less and I didn't put a lot of money into it. My contractor, thanks to my contractor, I didn't have to put too much money into it. Because most times when you pay contractors, um, you are basically... A bulk of the money goes to go to the contractor for their labor. And the materials themselves are not that expensive. So let's say you were charged $20,000. Maybe twelve dollars to $15,000 of that goes to the contractor. I'm telling you, I've done this for a while. So I know what I'm saying here. But um, lucky for me, I was blessed to have a contractor that I had already worked with before. And he's a private contractor. He's just getting in the game. Um, he worked for a big company for a very, very long time. And he had a boss that he worked with for, I think he said, 15 years. And the boss um, recently retired. But he's a younger guy. So he decided to start his own company and do it himself. So he became a general contractor. And he would hire people to do the little work. But he knew what to do. So... Because he was new at it, I guess doing it by himself or for himself, he wasn't that expensive, y'all. So he didn't charge me a lot. I ended up getting a really, really good deal. Anyway, I didn't put too much money into the house, but it turned out so nice, as you can see here. And so when we appraised the house, the appraisal came back marvelous. Like, I was so happy. I literally danced when my lender called me to tell me how much the property was worth. So yeah, it's a big, big deal when you buy a property in a nice neighborhood um, that is not compared or comparable to the rest of the houses. All you have to do is put some sweat equity in it and bam, you have a nice expensive house that is now worth the same price as the other houses. So yeah, family, my lender called me and told me the good news and I was so, so happy. But you guys know how I do these days. I'm not like, I'm not super consistent. I'm so, so sorry. I'm not super consistent with my videos and trust me, it pains me more than it does you guys, but I'm going to work on it. I need a team. I'm at a point where I truly, truly need a team. It's just so hard to trust people. And if you guys know, um, I was in a situation where I blindly trusted someone and all of my accounts were hacked and my brand was tainted and it, it was just a lot. So now I'm truly at a point where I need help with my content. I need like an email person. I need marketer i need an editor i need all of those people but i'm working through trust issues if i can be honest i'm i'm working through that it's just hard it's really really hard to trust but i'm getting there so pray for me y'all anyway i just say that to say that's my reason for not being as consistent because i have so much so so much going on that i can't keep up or be consistent with just one thing all right, so cleaning the bathroom here, as you can see, um, the bathrooms are already clean. As I said, they were deep, deep cleaned by my cleaners. 
and yeah the cleaning is basically done so I just like to put a little fireplace on the tv as I do my finishing touches and yeah family that is basically it for today's video I'm so so sorry it took so long to finally do this clean with me or home tour airbnb tour but i hope you enjoyed it comment your favorite part below and let me know if you have any questions about anything you saw today in the video let me know if you have questions about the home and just let me know what you would like to see next all right thank you all again so so much for watching i love you all and i'll see you all in my next one bye